The residents of Apapa local government could not control their joy on the 4th of August as the executive chairman of the local government, Honorable Ido Adejumoke Sembanjo, doled out cash gifts meant for foodstuff as palliative to residents to cushion the effect of subsidy removal of petrol on the people. The council boss, Sembanjo, acknowledged the fact that Nigerians are facing hardship as a result of fuel subsidy removal which has brought disparity in the way we do things vis-a-vis -vis the economy. Sembanjo appealed to the people to bear with President Bola Ahmed Tinubu as he is working hard to make sure this season passed, stressing that the president needed to put in place necessary structures needed for the country to thrive and assured them that there will always be light at the end of the tunnel. It is 10,000 Naira per household. It is not for mother, father, sister, brother, grandma and the rest of them. It is 10,000 Naira per household. So please, I am begging all of you, if you are going to register, please register per household. Let us not be greedy. Let us not be selfish. This is a time where we need to lift each other up. This is a time we need to support one another. This is a time we have to think of ourselves as Nigerians. We are all in this struggle together. We must endure, we must support, we must love, learn to love one another. We do not love ourselves in this country. And that is why we do things selfishly and greedily. The highlight of the event was a presentation of cash gifts of 10,000 Naira to over 1,000 families to procure foodstuff and she also unveiled some commercial boxes branded with the stickers of the local government stating that the residents should watch out for those boxes whose tea fare has been subsidized and reduced to 100 Naira per trip to any place within the local government. Mr. Hamzat, thank you for your cooperation. And we hope that the money that we are giving you, you will use it wisely and to benefit all Nigerians at large. Thank you for supporting this laudable venture. And I pray that um, this will bring glory and honor to our country, to Lagos, and to our Papa at large. Mrs. Bissi. The beneficiaries expressed delight over the financial palliative support and thanked the executive chairman of Apapa local government for her good gesture. It will enable us to carry on our duty and abide by what the president, governor and our chair lady here have said so that to make life more meaningful and easy for all the residents in Apapa local government. What we want from the people of Apapa is that to cooperate with our able chairman of Apapa local government and all the drivers. Because what this woman did in Apapa is marvelous. So we want everybody to cooperate. Anyone you see uh, Apapa uh, or Palatin something on it, you know that it's under Naira. If, you, if any driver want to change, you come to our garage and report. It is expected that um, we do this because, um, uh, of course, we understand the um, suffering of the people owing to the removal of um, subsidy uh, you know, from the agenda of Mr. President. And um, this um, gesture is to um, you know, is the transportation palaver that is um, faced by the you know indigents in the community. So this is why we've um, you know put in place these palliatives to ensure that um, uh, you know we ease the, the the suffering of our people. Today's program is um, a laudable one, and we thank um, our executive chairman for the thoughts, for the thought of giving people money because we don't want to 
just give them food that they do not need in their house. So this 10,000 Naira is to buy exactly what you need as a family to help you cushion the effect of the fuel subsidy. We have 1,000 people at 10,000 Naira for every household. Anything it is that they want to do, they will go and buy their own food stuff by themselves and use the money in whichever way they feel that will benefit them. One of the other palliatives we want to do is school feeding. We are working on the modalities to see how that will benefit um, and won't be too difficult for us to, and will be sustainable for us to be able to maintain. It is not our own, it is not for our own good, but for the good of all. My executive members and my, supervis my supervisors and the management, they have all forfeited whatever it is that we are giving them as palliative. They have said that they, are, they would give that back to the community. So they are not asking for any form of palliative. And I was highly impressed. Oh,